So symptoms of failing plumbing. Um, you, some, are, some are visual, some are uh, in the wall. And so this is not a coffee dispenser. This is not a Starbucks sink that they're coming out with. This is actual brown, rusty water coming out of somebody's sink. And here's what your stains on your sink look like. And here's the scrubbers. They've obviously been trying to clean it off, but the rust is staining the porcelain sink. Uh, if you have all these in your, typically your lower, your downstairs units or your first floor units, because again, water, rust are flowing downhill, but um, look for stains. And then that CPVC stuff tends to get brittle and tends to break. So you can see this shatter, it just bursts. And that's, that's what, that's what water floods out and causes problems. Other symptoms, you're looking under sinks and you see, uh, you see the sink vanity all destroyed. You can tell that's been leaking in the past. If you see a bucket under a P-trap, that's probably a pretty good indication that there's a water leak there. Um, here's a toilet with just buckled flooring around it and even soaking up into the drywall behind it. Here's some of that brown staining and shower surrounds again. So any other kind of signs of failure, Jared? You know, it, temperature control, if it takes a long, if, it, if you're in your shower and it takes a while for either warm or hot water or warm or cold water to arrive, mm -hmm. you know, that could be a, that's a sign. Um, obviously any leaks, the staining, yeah, the you know, pressure, pressure, even yeah. pressure, low pressure is, a, is another one. Now, here's what you're drinking. This is a cross section of a piece of galvanized water supply pipe. This was the bigger pipe that was servicing the building. And so all of the residents, all of the spigots, your water was gurgling over brown crystals and picking up all sorts of flavor. So that iced tea that you thought you were getting from the tap is not really iced tea. So you can see how the pipe is just, it's working its way towards closing permanently. It's a small little hole. There was a big diameter of pipe. Um, this is what you're drinking. Always use a water filter. Please filter your water. Okay, here's some drain lines. A couple things we wanted to mention. So yeah, this is totally plugged. We don't have it. it it's not coming up through a planter. We cut this out and we just put it there to take a picture of it, but you can see that is just plugged and plugged with gunk and hair and grease and junk. So one of the things I want, want to talk about is this is your pipe wall. So here's the good you know, thickness of your pipe wall. So over on this one, you see how that pipe wall is rusting almost through ready to break. And then over here, it's, it's really reaching its point of almost rusting through. So thus a plumbing repair project. And then, you know, toilets are always the culprit, the back stuff is backing up, backing out of this toilet. This is not a hoarder's toilet. This is a recent uh, plumbing backup where everything's flooded. Your toilet bowl is one of the lowest things. It's typically lower than the side of the tub, but um, if it's gonna come, come back up, it's coming up through your toilet and it makes a big mess.